For most of the past decade, the future of mobility was framed as a race to electrify. Who could build the most EVs at the lowest battery cost at the largest scale? But by 2024, something quietly changed. Electrification stopped being the source of advantage and became the minimum requirement to compete. The real contest in mobility has now shifted to intelligence. Between 2020 and 2023, the auto industry was locked in what can best be described as the battery race. Capital flowed into gigafactories, supply chains, and platform redesigns. Battery costs fell dramatically from over $1,200 per kilowatt hour in 2010 to roughly $140 per kilowatt hour by 2023. EV adoption accelerated. Manufacturing knowledge diffused, and in doing so, electrification largely succeeded. But success created a new problem. Once EVs became widely available and broadly comparable, they stopped generating excess returns. They became baseline infrastructure. What we are seeing now is not a rejection of EVs, but a repricing of what actually creates value in mobility. This video is about that shift, what I call the intelligence pivot, and why companies like Ford, Rivian and Nvidia are now signaling the next regime. The original EV thesis assumed that electrification would permanently improve economics. Lower mechanical complexity, lower operating costs, higher margins through scale. In practice, the economics proved more constrained. Despite falling battery prices, EV manufacturing remains deeply capital intensive. Dedicated platforms, new plants, retooled supply chains, and heavy software investment all pushed costs higher, not lower. Most legacy OEMs report negative or low single-digit operating margins on EVs. Ford disclosed that its EV division lost roughly $4.7 billion in 2023, with losses exceeding $30,000 per vehicle in some quarters. Even Tesla, the most efficient EV manufacturer globally, saw automotive gross margins fall from above 30% in 2021 to the mid-teens by 2024, driven largely by price competition. The lesson here is not that EVs failed, it's that EVs behave like hardware. And hardware businesses face linear costs, margin compression, and limited ability to compound returns once differentiation erodes. This realization has produced a clear strategic split in the industry. On one side is what we might call the hybrid hedge, led by Ford and other legacy OEMs. On the other is the brain race, pursued by Rivian, Tesla, and the NVIDIA-enabled autonomy ecosystem. These are not confused strategies. They are rational responses to very different balance sheet realities. Ford's $19.5 billion restructuring charge in December 2025, including the cancellation of a second-generation F-150 Lightning and multiple large EV programs, is best understood not as a collapse, but as a controlled de-risking event. Ford wasn't reacting to technology failure it was reacting to capital discipline. In doing so, Ford recognized three hard constraints. Demand for $60,000 plus, pure EV is saturated, well ahead of infrastructure readiness. Charging networks remain uneven, particularly outside dense urban corridors. And policy support, once assumed to be durable, has become increasingly unstable. Continuing to scale loss-making EV programs under those conditions would not accelerate the future. It would simply destroy optionality. Instead, Ford is pivoting toward hybrids and range-extended EVs, using internal combustion not as a long-term solution, but as a cash flow bridge, a way to fund a future software-defined platform expected later this decade. This is not abandonment of the future. It is an acknowledgement that electrification alone does not compound. And there's a deeper strategic insight here. Ford is not trying to win the intelligence race today. It is buying time. This is a form of time arbitrage. Stabilizing the drivetrain business to survive long enough to participate meaningfully in the intelligence era. By contrast, the brain race players are pursuing technology arbitrage, accepting near-term losses in exchange for long-duration software leverage. Neither approach is irrational but only one creates a path to non-linear margins once hardware differentiation fades. So why is the industry realigning now? 
If EVs alone produced attractive economics, this realignment wouldn't be happening. But OEMs are slowing capacity expansion, redirecting capital, and elevating software and autonomy teams. The reason is simple. Every vehicle sold still requires $25,000 to $40,000 of physical inputs. Steel, batteries, labor, logistics. Each incremental unit carries real cost. Intelligence does not scale that way. Once trained, validated, and deployed, the marginal cost of intelligence trends towards zero. That single economic difference is why the industry's profit pool is moving. The intelligence pivot marks the transition from mobility as a manufacturing problem to mobility as a learning system. In this regime, electrification is assumed, software defines differentiation, autonomy introduces operating leverage, data compounds over time. Autonomous driving has emerged as the first major proving ground for physical AI, systems that perceive, reason and act in the real world. That is because driving is uniquely suited to this role. Unlike factory robots, vehicles operate in open environments. But unlike general robotics, they have clear objectives and codified rules. Modern autonomy is shifting from modular, rules-based systems, separate perception, planning and control, toward end-to-end -to -end large driving models trained on millions of hours of real-world data. These systems don't just detect objects, they reason about intent. NVIDIA's drive, Alpamayo R1, released in late 2025, is a landmark example. A reasoning vision language action model that understands not just that a ball has entered the road, but that a child may follow. This is intelligence replacing engineered logic. Rivian does not represent a breakthrough in autonomous driving. What it represents is something more subtle and more important. It is the clearest confirmation outside of Tesla that the industry is converging on an intelligence-first OEM model. At its December 2025 Autonomy and AI Day, Rivian outlined a strategy that closely mirrors the architecture Tesla has been building toward for years. A proprietary 5 nanometer AI chip, RAP1, delivering over 800 tops, an end-to-end -end autonomy software stack, and a recurring revenue model, Autonomy Plus, priced at $2,500 upfront or $50 per month. None of this is revolutionary in isolation. What matters is the intent. Rivian is reorganizing around co-designing the brain and the silicon, much like Apple's M-series strategy, not to optimize near-term costs, but to control the long-term economics of intelligence. For Rivian, autonomy is not a feature. It is a system layer, one that can be improved after sale, scaled across the fleet, and monetized over the vehicle's lifetime. That distinction matters because their economics are fundamentally different. At scale, software margins can exceed 80% compared to 8-10% to for vehicle hardware. The risk for Rivian is execution and data scale. The risk for the industry is pretending this shift isn't happening. So far, we've examined how OEMs are responding to the intelligence pivot. Some buying time, others racing to build the brain. But above those choices sits a company that doesn't need to win the vehicle market. It only needs the pivot itself. Above all of this sits NVIDIA. NVIDIA is no longer just a chip supplier. It is positioning itself as the cloud-to-edge infrastructure layer for physical AI. That means owning the full stack that autonomy depends on. Training, simulation, inference and safety certification where systems are validated before deployment through partnerships with companies like Uber and GM, alongside dozens of OEMs and autonomy developers, NVIDIA is enabling self-driving systems, regardless of which brand ultimately wins. And this is the key strategic point. Even as OEMs move toward in-house silicon and vertically integrated autonomy stacks, NVIDIA continues to monetize upstream through development tools, foundation models, simulation environments, and safety frameworks that everyone still needs. In many ways, NVIDIA is becoming the AWS of physical AI, not competing with automakers, but capturing value from the intelligence pivot itself. What we've seen over the past few weeks may look like disconnected announcements, a legacy automaker retreating from aggressive EV expansion, a young OEM doubling down on autonomy and software, and an AI company quietly positioning itself as the infrastructure beneath it all. But these are not isolated moves. 
they are manifestations of the same underlying shift, the decoupling of the drivetrain from the brain. We've seen this pattern before. In smartphones, hardware standardized and value migrated to operating systems and ecosystems. In cloud computing, servers became commodities, while software platforms captured the margins. In media, distribution collapsed and recommendation engines became the business. Mobility is now entering its version of that transition. The battery race solved propulsion. The intelligence pivot will decide who captures the value. The transition is no longer theoretical. It's already underway. If you enjoyed this strategic deep dive, hit like and subscribe to StretiQ.